Hi guys, welcome to Walnut. I'm here with Dan. He's here too. Hey. 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 <laughs> We're gonna walk you through our latest project and we're gonna do it together because I feel like Dan always brings like a regular person's perspective to things. The average Joe. You are, yeah. you're the average Dan, and I love it. Be fair to yourself, this is your project. It is. And I'm just here to walk through it with you. I really just brought you here to tell me how great I am. Is I that can good? do that, okay, that's easy. Okay, great, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the entry. Awesome. You know I love a little wow moment. Yes. I mean, I bring the looks always, yes, right? Yes, always. Okay. You are the wow moment. I am the wow But you have to leave something after <laughs> Behind, you leave. Yeah, right? exactly. So people walk in and they're yeah. like, what happened here? Right. And they're like, Kate Lester. That's what happened here. This says Kate Lester all over. It does. And this is the kind of thing that we actually never present to our clients ahead of time. This oh, was a interesting. surprise. Okay. So when we sold this to them in the presentation, it was a beautiful entry console and a mirror. Got it. And of course, like that would have been great, but that would have been like just Just great. average. Yeah. And so we don't like average. Right. We're overachievers here. So we added a totally curated gallery wall with little bits of pieces of art that are meaningful to them. It's always hit or miss. You never know if they're gonna like it. This is a hit. It this is, is a home run. They love this. Yeah. So yeah. So I'm seeing a lot of different textures here. Yes. Different materials. Yeah. Talk to me about this console. Yeah. This is beautiful. So this is a one of a kind piece I found during my excursions, which are like amazing. I just wander around, and when I find something, I just buy it, which is a luxury. I yeah. Know, but thank you, American Express. Um, <laughs> and so Count I hope those that I will find a place for it eventually. <laughs> And so as we make our way into yeah. this entry level, this is a three level house. It is. So we have a basement below, basement. main level, yep. and then probably what, primarily bedrooms above. Bedrooms above yeah. and laundry. The way the life fixtures all work together. Yeah. So you Talk can to see, me about that. yeah, so these are also vintage. <laughs> we bought these and we decided to illuminate the wall, but I wanted something that nobody else had, right? I wanted these to be the art pieces because yeah. I didn't want to have a bunch of art fighting here because I feel like the stairway detail, the paneling, it's already a lot going on. Yeah. So we wanted the light fixtures in and of themselves to be this like dramatic moment. I you just love how it all feels like one yeah, piece with the cool. stairway. All right, okay. so we make our way into the main living space. This is like the big open concept that right. everybody wants, right? So like to that point yeah. though, like when you have this open floor plan right. that everybody wants, you still, made quite a statement here with this yeah. dining room. Yeah, because I feel like it's important to me that if you wanted to entertain and you wanted to have a dinner party, people didn't feel like they were sitting off your kitchen. Right. Or like in your living room on right. a table. Right. So I think differentiating the spaces, it, we wanted to create a mood in here that yeah. it felt like you were in a dining room and then having the kitchen and the great room sort of tie together and that was intentional. So we went real big in here. My son would say this is a vibe. It's a vibe. Yeah. And that's what we, I mean, you're not gonna be in here every day, no. right? So like, it's like your laundry room, which yeah. you'll see, like, let's go big. Let's yeah. make it interesting. Love it. Let's take some risks here, go a little darker and moodier, sort of like And you went with like the wood siding up. Fiber. More than halfway. Yeah, and then the beautiful wallpaper. Yeah. And so I bold think choice. it's bold Love choice. It. But it still communicates with the main area right. here. It does, it does. So, you know, no matchy matchy at right. Kate Lester Interior. So of course, <laughs> we're all in that same palette, but it's different in here. You can see the great room, which a lot of the houses in this neighborhood or in our area, our community have, right? The fireplace, yeah. the cabinetry, and then the kitchen behind. It's a pretty standard setup. Not in it a is. bad way, but no. this is what people want. It is, yeah. yeah. People want to have you know, to have kids be able to watch a movie while they cook, or for, in my case, me to be able to watch a movie while my husband right. cooks. So, <laughs> or the DoorDash comes. And then again, creating a kitchen that feels open and elegant because it's in the living room. Right. Like, let's not forget the yeah. kitchen is literally in yeah. the living room, right? So I think that's what sometimes people forget and they make these grand kitchens with a lot of molding and things happening and then it sort of feels unbalanced. So what we wanted to do is make sure that the kitchen felt as light and fresh and balanced as the family room and the dining room, and that we still took that. some design risks. Yeah, and let's talk about this kitchen. Let's do it. So I'm seeing real marble. Real marble, Dan. Okay. Real marble. So talk to me about why real okay. marble. So 
a lot of people are, are on the like Caesar stone, you know, Neolith. faux stone, Neolith trend. Yeah. Essentially, you know, those products are great, right? If you have an, They're supposed you know, to be bulletproof. They are, but right. okay, maybe you're on a budget. I get it. If you're not and you Why have, are you at me like that? I mean, I, maybe we're on a budget. <laughs> um, if you're not and you have the allowance for real stone in your yeah. budget, yeah. please use it. A lot of people are saying, you know, oh gosh, well, it's never gonna last. Yeah, and I yeah. wanna be like, have you been to Italy? Yeah. Like, hello? It's so stone. It's stone. Right. It's gonna, it's gonna get weird, it's gonna get scratched, it's sure. gonna leave rings, but that's the love. And like the moments it's like scratches on leather and when things get worn, it's like my wrinkles. It just is like love, it's, you know? It's life. It shows life and <laughs> happiness. So I think what's happening here is we really wanted to create an elegance movement and kind of kick this up a notch because we, we kept it very simple. We even carved in a drain board. You can kind of see how amazing that is and, and we really took care of, of all the details. And then this flows to the backsplash, is it the same? Same, same, same slabs. stone. A lot of slabs. Got it. A lot of yeah. slabs. We, and you, you got know, the shelf here. Correct. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then we went with a non-traditional hood. It's just um, a vent in drywall that we built out and that helps me feel more comfortable with everything being paneled and not having like these huge stainless steel moments because yeah. I felt like it was a little bit tight quarters it's here. It's subtle, but yeah. it, it it really, it's but still it's a dramatic. statement. Yeah. And again, we're and taking those cabinets all the way up, right? right. See, we learned that from we the last We learned video. that, okay? <laughs> yes, all the way up. Yes. Because those are, that's where you put the things you don't need to access as often and you have them, I know you do. Right. So put them way up there. And we have, it uh, looks like two dishwashers, oh, we yeah. have wine fridge, Full size liquor fridge cabinet and with the lock. Oh, smart. We think ahead. We they have, have children teenage, here. Teenagers. So yeah. lock up your shizzle. Okay? Got it. What about these light fixtures? Aren't they incredible? They're beautiful. Yes. This is something we encouraged our clients to spend on. I think they're an art piece for the kitchen, and that's how I presented them. I want to encourage more people to think like that. Like that money is always well spent. Yeah. Talk to me about this. Yeah. This is the dining nook, eating yes. nook, right off the kitchen. Who doesn't want a bank at? I mean, yeah. you, you're a realtor, right? You are? You know what's funny is there was a time where this was out of style. Totally. And now it's come back with a vengeance. I mean, I think with everyone being home a lot more, right? Yeah. People are working from home. People are, you know, like spending time with their kids and right. stuff now. I mean, we're, we have to do Weird, that. right? I know. <laughs> so, you know, you can, you can have them doing homework here while you're working up here. And by working, I mean not cooking. I think the whole family can kind of gather in this area and yeah. we wanted to create this space to be really usable and functional. That's why there's not a lot of pillows. It's all upholstered. What is this? This it's is beautiful. It's all directly upholstered. And then we did a leather seat just for durability, yeah. right? It's and beautiful. so and storage below storage below again there's going to be things you don't need every day yeah. so shove them in there don't put them on the counter so but um, i just love the play on like the color of the leather yeah. color of the wood the little wood touch under the window yeah sill. the windowsill detail was something that we right. changed there was a lot of crown molding happening in here that i just felt wasn't right for the vibe of this house like yeah. it was supposed to be like a little new york a little la we kind of designed this detail to create these moments under the windows where it grounded them. It's like yeah. less is more, unless yeah. I say more is more, and then more is more. Right. So it's, it's just kind of like whatever you say I goes. Say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Talk to me about this living room. Okay. And like the furniture setup. I mean, your interior design. So it's all surfaces. Yep. And it's. All yeah, so we furnishes. do everything, right? So yeah. a lot of people think like, oh, you're gonna come in and you're gonna put some furniture in. Right. Which is lovely, but no, I mean, we really design everything from the stain on the beams, the width, we designed this entire mantle. Yeah. We selected the firebox, learning about, you know, what people need here. A lot of times you see built-in benches here. Like who is sitting there? Right. No one, yeah. right? So let's add some storage. Let's put some, you know, you can put blankets, games, your media stuff there yeah. if you don't have a media room, yeah. which you should. Yes, I mean, of course. Right. I mean, okay, I mean. It's on my bucket list. I, definitely. <laughs> and then really going for as much seating as we can. Right. Right, so really maximizing. If you look at the clearances here, you'll see See that they're not traditional clearances right. it's a little tighter but the truth is it still works yeah so you have to as a designer know what those real clearances right. are right so you can get more is more here because here more is more you go on this side okay this is my good side okay great i don't have one <laughs> okay this is my good side okay. <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the coffee bar this is the coffee bar and i mean you have a coffee bar right yeah. 
I don't. I have a little corner in my kitchen. I have like, a Mr. Coffee. Yeah. If you are lucky and you are bougie and you hire Kate Lester Interiors, you will get a coffee bar. Our clients actually are big coffee drinkers and they didn't want a cluttered countertop, which yeah. like, again, they're my spirit animals. Yes. So we created this area specifically for like the toaster oven and the coffee bar and the microwave. And we actually put in a pot filler, but it's actually to fill the coffee maker Love because it. it could be a coffee pot yeah. filler. Yeah. Okay. So we're thinking outside the box, yes. which is what you should be doing when you're hiring a designer, right? Encouraging everybody to think outside the box. And this was a great solution for this area. So they didn't have to walk over and use the other faucet because that's too far. Okay, I wanna show you guys this laundry room because this is the coolest laundry room wow. I have ever designed. I feel like wow. Vanna White or like the Price is Right lady. Yeah. Look at these washer and dryers. Yes. I know you're really living your best life in here. I don't think you do laundry either, Dan. Let's I don't. I will be the first to admit yeah. that, yeah. Our client does do laundry. She like, she does want to do her own there laundry, right? There are people like that. <laughs> There are people. She's like, I want my laundry room to be fun because laundry sucks. So we did really, we, you know, built in the sink with the hand spray, a big sink if you hand wash a lot, and then open shelving. We like the whole pull out. Again, yeah, I mean, instead of doing these. like something built in, I just thought this was more interesting. Let me guess, vintage? I mean, obviously. <laughs> These are not vintage, actually. These oh. are new. <laughs> but Crate I mean, I don't think she wants like someone's old like laundry cart. Crate and barrel. It used to do like vegetables in Europe, and now right. it's housing your laundry. Exactly. So no, these are new, and we just thought they would be interesting, a little bit more fun than a traditional pullout. What about this lovely rug? Right. I mean, who Let's isn't going to put a vintage Kate Lester home rug in your laundry room? Like, so many. talk about splurge and save. This is a great place to splurge. It really kicks everything up a notch. Yeah. The flooring is a great price point. It looks beautiful, but we saved a little bit of money there because we knew that we were gonna layer over a really incredible rug. Yeah. So if you're gonna do that, then think about that ahead of time. If you're gonna, yeah. you know, wanna splurge on a rug in an area, then be a little more value friendly with your selections for I your love flooring. That. Yeah. Okay, so here is the primary bedroom. We really spent a lot of time and energy thinking about the layout of this space and how to utilize it in a really great way. It's massive in here. Yeah, there's a lot to soak in already, yeah. yeah. And I think for us, it was about creating a space where they could really live. You know, they have teenage kids and it's loud and it's chaotic. And right. so I think for us, it was giving them like a little bit of a sanctuary, but yeah. not boring. Yeah. Cause like we can't be boring. No, this is so not boring. So this is our idea of like muted yeah. and spa-like. We went with, you know, king size bed, really substantial nightstands, lamps, and then a seating area because I feel like it's great to have the seating area. Like sometimes, I love this. you know, I want to work and my husband wants to sleep and I don't care. Right. So I want to sit down and work yeah. and like I want a space for that, yeah. right? So I feel like it's a great place to do all kinds of things. And then we did this little desk area here so that our client could do some computer work and yeah. you know, if she wanted to to just hang out and be away from everyone for a few minutes, like all moms need, and dads, of, right? Of course, yes. Just everyone. They all need space from each other. Exactly, <laughs> so this is where she could hide. I mean, hang out. Got it, right. So, yes. Talk to me about these pictures. Okay, this art. This is um, another Kate Lester, like I'm going left when everybody's going right. Yes, I love yeah. to go left. Yeah. Yes, okay, so these are from another LA Banks company. They're incredible and they make everything by hand. I like little art above the bed. Yeah. Maybe it's my signature. Oh. Like too many necklaces and too much tequila. Is that like, <laughs> okay. So. You're, you're um, getting a list there. We're getting a, there's a lot of things <laughs> are my signature. I just think it's interesting. I think it's a juxtaposition, which is yeah. like my favorite thing to do when yeah. you think I'm gonna go, right? I go left. Yeah. Um, and I think that's part of being a good designer is sort of pushing the boundaries and Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. You're still talking about it, I win. So yeah. um, I, I, I think it's interesting and it really works with the geometric yeah. vibes we have going on in here. It doesn't take away from everything else. Yeah. And so it's just cohesive. It's a little subtle. I'm here for it. It's so funny. I mean, we have these like, you know, designs with like hard shapes right. and then you have these like plumpy lamps. Plumpy. And then these plumpy. like curvatures yeah. in the desk. Yes. You know, like you really just so everything Mix is speaking to each other. There's yeah. like no. Well, I there love is. It, I though. mean, there is a rhyme or reason. That's no, why but that's what I'm saying. It all bucks. comes together. It does. Yeah. It does. And 
you know, that's why we are creatives and yeah. artists, right? So it's something that if you're a regular person, it's foreign to you, it doesn't yeah. happen. You know, it's just like, I couldn't sell a house if I tried. That's why yeah. I have you. That's, that's right. True. That's why that's true. I get paid the I'll design bucks. it, you sell it. I can do that. We'll split the commission. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Wait, oh, wait, wait. <laughs>、okay. All right, so、okay. this is the primary suite. Yes. So can you take me to the back? Yeah.、Room? Do you want to、yeah. go through the like, super secret hallway? Yeah.、It's、so fun in here. Look at this hallway. So、wow. instead of just having this like, waste of space where, I don't know, you put like, a bench or something, we wanted to give them a place where he travels a lot so he could put his carry on luggage here and just pack it up,、oh, you、wow. know, his dock kits, all those kind of things that were like, outside the closet. Right. But he could just grab and go.、Yeah. And so I think that's really important and, and thoughtful. And save space in the closet、totally. for all the like, for her. main stuff. Because <laughs> he has like, a drawer in there. Got it. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. but it's true. No, yeah. So, but it's also decorative and beautiful. I think your husband's a lifeguard. I know, all right? He needs, is, like, he needs like trunks and flip flops. flops.、Yeah, exactly. That's all. Okay, ta da! This is the primary bathroom that is going to break the internet. Like, can we talk about this? I am bringing sexy back just with this floor. It's, it's real marble. It's absolutely beautiful. Isn't it? Timeless. And you know what the、Wait. secret. I,、okay. I want to guess because something stood out to me about this floor. Tell me everything. And average Dan here. Average Dan. Has noticed something. Okay, tell me. The black grout. The black grout. That is unique. It is unique. You know why? Because most people would go white grout. Right, yeah. So I had to go black grout. Of course. Okay. Man. I had to. You、like, must、I、have mean, been the wildest child growing up. I was literally. <laughs> my mom said I just came out already making my own lunches. So, this is black and white marble. Gorgeous, classic, classic pattern.、Beautiful. This does not go out of style. And that's something that's really important、yeah. to me that we don't jump on trends. Right.、Um, that we're really trying to say, okay, we're leaning into what's, you know, what's happening.、Yeah. We're not going to ignore the trends,、yeah. but that we're staying true to what's elegant and classic so that in five years, They're not coming to me and being like, why did you paint my whole house gray and put seashells everywhere?、And、right. Like, Sorry. <laughs> so, we're not doing that. So, we're、right. going to do better. Timeless.、Um, yes, timeless. So, natural tones, black and whites. The secret to happy marriage his and hers vanities. <laughs> okay? Like your crap over here, my crap over here. Got it. And we will live harmoniously. Yeah. Is really what happens. And then this massive shower with totally custom shower door. Um, which、that、again,、is. my contractor just thrilled to, to do this for me. <laughs>、um, it's gorgeous. Yes, and super inexpensive. Yeah,、okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is, this is, this again, is where you go to the next level. This is where you splurge and、yeah. don't save. You、It's、save on the kids' bathrooms. On your primary. Exactly. You <laughs> save on those children. They don't、yeah. deserve it, okay? They can have ceramic tile. Exactly. <laughs> so, again, real marble here,、uh, real marble here, real marble in the shower, and it is gonna get. You know, it's gonna get worn, it's gonna get、yeah. lived in, and that's okay. We talked about this, right? Imperfections are beautiful. Right. Perfect is boring. Perfect is boring. Maybe that's, that's what I should put on my business card. I love that. Okay. That's your motto. Okay. And then you brought in the wood. I did. Yeah. I, I mean, look、in. at these cabinet fronts. Look at these baby doors. You wanna know if, like,、oh, these were, again, these look inexpensive. They were super inexpensive. <laughs> Pick these up at Home Depot. Oh, my、um, God. Kidding. These are custom made and designed. We have a door vendor. You, everyone should have a door vendor. Of course. I have a door lady. And then we have like a. Another... I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you run with it. I wanna hear it. I'm, I'm enjoying myself right now. This looks like a nickel finish? Very good. Thank you. Very good. So, polished nickel、Correct. that we're gonna let patina? We are. And we're just、okay. gonna let it sit. It's、yeah. this and the shower fixtures and、yeah. the bath fixtures are the polished nickel.、Yeah. And we're just gonna let those rest. And、yeah. that's what they're gonna be. So we've actually got three finishes going on in here. But then got... again, like the handles are like square, rectangle,、right. and then the knobs are round, and then this has like a rounded element to、right. it. And then the mirror has a rounded element. But then、top. your square detail is、yeah. here and here. And、so、this little、balanced. detail here,、yes. instead of the marble just dying,、yes. oh、my you、God. put this little cap on it. You have to it. cap it. Look, look it. at Average Dan noticing these things.、Average. You know, I'm starting to feel like a couple more of these videos, I'm not gonna be so average. You're gonna be, oh my god, you're gonna be mediocre, Dan. <laughs> nice. Okay. My mom、above、always told me、Dan. I was mediocre. Above average, Dan. <laughs> above. That was amazing. This house is absolutely beautiful. 
We barely scratched the surface. I know. Yeah. I just wanted you to be so here. Jealous. I know. I just wanted you to be yeah. here and like I wanted you to get your average Dan take. Hey, I love it. You really I learn so much every time and I, I really appreciate you letting me be part. I like you being a regular person in hey, this space. That's me. If that's my role in life, I will I will be happy. I like yeah, it. O'ConnorProperties.com. <laughs> Kate Lester home. <laughs> well, thank right. you. Thank you so much. Again, it was right. fun. Thank Bye. You. See you later. Peace out. <laughs>